Trip is here, and we are back with Twisted Wonderla, the Masquerade event. I am re-fucking recording this because the first up, the first time I recorded this did not work, so that's a bullshittery. Kind of mad because it's the Malleus one, so I was like, I have to fucking mess up here. So whatever. So I'm going to try to zoom past this because I've still got another, what, ten episodes? Three, nine episodes with this one. Group one assemble. You don't have to shout at the top of your thighs. We can hear you just fine. You must keep my last main. I wonder if I should auto it. Group one assemble. I hope we have an enjoyable time. So do I, Malleus. I was worried. And so I started insulting them. Insult, yeah, insult, insult, insisting that we join Malleus' group. But honestly, I'm glad he has a proper card. How, of course, Mal Malleus' safety shower. Be my first priority. From my part, I'm interested in broadening my horizons and learning more about the city's history. I did some reading prior to our departure, but no substitute for experience at first hand. Place first hand. What if the rest of you? I certainly have no objections. I think we have a wonderful approach. I was also l hoping to learn more about the city. Agreed. I'd like to see the site and get to get the real floral city experience. Uh, so you're all interested in learning more about the history. I your mindset. Jeez Louise, I thought this was group one, not group boring. Let's put there. Your interest as well. Hmm. There's some spots I can recommend. They impressed me greatly when I saw them years back. They're not for terrorists, so, so you won't find them on your maps. Would you like me to show you around? You don't mind? I'll be happy to have you, Professor. Then I believe we have a place to start. Shall we get going? Gotta zoom, 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 zoom. That's a simple question. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Come on. I believe we're under the, one of the bridges that connect the city to Nova College. I didn't even notice it at first that there was a pathway where we were on a bridge. This is entry to an underground waterway. As Flaming mentioned, the Bell Solius is the hardest to our city, but that wouldn't be then, but it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say these waterways are a nerve system. They develop alongside the city itself. Uh, so these are the waterways that run through a city. They're all made of stone, just as I read. They look rather old. Uh, yes, a complex, complex so vast, not even the locals know it entirely. I've read about them as well. They were all built so the whole city can use the water from Solas. Yes, yeah, so that's not their last fashion. Here's a question for the class. Whether their historic purpose... Do these waterways serve? I can answer that. Shh, don't spoil the fun now. Not everyone did research beforehand. Remember, I find points out like, do you, you think the, ans the answer is, huh? You're asking me? Uh, I'm in my liege's presence. I'm, I absolutely have to get this right. Professor, I request a hint. How gallant. Very well. This is the only interest. There are many throughout the hidden city. Throughout the city, you say. Hmm. Subic, the waterways are, are right in front of you. Sorry. Sorry, I fucking skipped the thing. The city. The waterway. Enter them and look around for yourself. Yes, sir. It's less than the cool in here. There are pathways wide enough for people to walk down on. Both sides of the water. It's too dark to see much, but I presume the walk walkways continue for a while. Judging from the wind, there are side passages as well. Oh, it's no use. I feel close, but the answer so eludes me. Oh, okay, bored now. How about we give up on this stupid question and move on? It's been mere minutes. Give it a little longer. Here, another hint. What would you do if your liege tried to walk, take a walk through here alone? My liege? Alone? Well, I would insist on accompanying him, of course. Who knows what manners of miscreants could be lurking in the shadows waiting to strike? Aha, I have it. Did we use this hide in these wallways? Correct, Selbeck. Many tales claim that these places serve as hideouts for some residents. Not even I would want sort know what sort of people would stay here. But it's quite quiet and cool down here. Perhaps it was actually comfortable. 
The literature I read says that some residents even refer to the hideout as court. It's quite, it's fascinating. Hmm, well done, Zibo. That little hint sh spurred your imagination and led you to the correct answer. Ha 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 ha. A simple question, indeed, for a proud guardian of Gr Malleus. Uh-huh, whatever, even I got it. Even now, these waterways mark the lives of people who are often made invisible by Florence City's outward prosperity. There is a great way to learn about the era's history. Yes, and I much prefer the quiet here to the noisier sections of town. I could spend a rather long while here. Yes, they're not exactly a tourist attraction. The most foot track for they get is from the occasional local outforest row. I happened upon this place when I vacation here years ago. It was just as quiet then. It was a great spot to relax after many hours of tiring sightseeing. So this place is really more of a memorable date spot for you and your wife. My own history is hardly a topic of interest, I assure you. Hmm. Where did the you rest exactly? I would like to see the myself. I'm interested in hearing more about your traveling adventures with your wife. The discussion is over. For what reason? Mally has just asked you a question. You owe him a proper answer. True. It could give us a deeper understanding of the place past history. By all means, tell us more. Probably drop it. I said the discussion is over. I apologize. I was only engaging in some light banter. I had no idea those three would show such interest in the topic. Really, no. You should know better th than to tease your teacher's wiper. Though in other cases, they all appear entirely earnest. God, I'm going to need some water after this. At any rate, let's go back up top. Apologize for making you listen to an old man's reminiscence. All apologies. I har are hardly warranted. This was quite a novel experience. You know, I just realized it's been unusually quiet. Is, is Grim not with us? Now that you mention it, he is it. Where'd he go? You better not ca causing any trouble. Look, there he is, on the other side of the bridge. He's standing stock still in front of some buildings. When did he sneak off? Yeah, I cut my time by two minutes. So it's not that fast, but still. I don't know if it's entirely my thing. Now I see Grip. It is unacceptable for you to make trouble for my leech. Sarah. What are you looking at, Grip? Red, white, red, 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 white, blah. He's, he's going to say. He's not even blinking. What's the, he muttering? Red, white. He's going to keep muttering red, white for a while. Mwah! I can't stop watching the spinny thing. It's making me dizzy. Are you referring to the this post right here? That's our barber's pole. They're typically indicated at a barber shop. Indicating. I can see staff of white uniforms standing next to the little fancy red chairs inside. With all that on top of using a barber's pole in the day and age. It's a pretty old-fashioned operation. Think so. Barber shops in Bear Valley look similar to this one. Seeing it really takes me back. I wonder if my old barber is still faring well. I used to go in twice a month. Twice a month? That's a lot of barber visits. My sister only goes once a month for a trim. A proper guard of Mali is always properly groomed. I approve of how immaculate your hair always is. Many of our students can learn you from your sample. It's the least I could do in service of such a noble figure. How often do you get your character back home, Jamal? I've been growing my hair out since middle school, so I didn't visit the barber too often. I get the ends even out every once in a few months at most. It's more work to take care of of my hair, though. If anyone here is stringing about their appearance, it's riddle. What would you do about your hair in the Queen of Roses? Queen of Roses. I would go to the barber once a month. My mother would schedule my appointment for me. It was always the same time with the same person with the same cut and style. It's important for everything to look neat and trim. That's why I kept my hair short. I cut it myself when I first came to our school. Truly, do you still do so? Carter didn't want me doing it for some reason. So now I go to a barber in town just like everyone else. I wonder how fucked up his hair was. It should probably get... You should probably thank Carter for that. What about you, Malleus? I would summon my personal health dresser to the castle. Goodness, that's royalty for you. But I would try out of how much of a production it was each time. Sometimes I would ask the lady to cut my hair... And when he was doing silvers. <laughs> Man, they're really into care. I should totally, hmm? The shop's got a poster. What's it say? I have about your trip by trying a traditional furrow hairstyle. Ah, so the shop offers traditional hairstyling for tourists to try. 
I've seen businesses like the zero sand. Really, could I try one? It really does say anyone, so we're going to sign at least. We would cost not sure financial hairstyle, though. Weren't how with the proper lady shift line years ago. Yes, they were fashionable among the aristocrats, but not before. Moles on your face. I believe the townspeople are admiring the styles, all done similar ways on the festival day. I don't think the fashion was unique to Florida City. It's popular in many countries. Okay, here my talk to the staff. They told me the style was especially popular in Florida City back in the day. What's that? What shavings? In the olden days, they would shape these to look like hair and fix them to people's head. Want to try it? Yeah, right. I ain't dumb. I know nobody would put what shavings on their hair. Haha, <laughs> better disconnect could there be for someone who thinks of nothing but eating, sleeping, and quality. Oh, yeah? I think Grim is adorable as he is. You're clearly the one who appreciates my charm. Hmm, even the most obvious flattery goes to your head. A wig of wood shaving would suit you well indeed. Come now, it's rude to cause such a commotion in public. If the freshmen don't bring yourselves in, I'll be off with your head. Pardon the siege, but speaking of com commotions... For other people here, no one seems to realize the Malleus Draconis is with us. I wonder if that's due to his hat color and flashing his horns. Plenty of people are dressed in such much flashier assembles. Maybe they think the horns are part of his costume? It's a good they don't recognize him, though. I was worried we might draw too many crowds and then we would have trouble walking around. Agreed. After all, we could hardly use wood shavings to kill his horns. Were you just discussing my horns? No, never! Uh, Grim, pitching a fit. I think that's our cue to move on. We should check on the other groups anyway. What will your group be doing next? I was thinking of walking around and learning a bit more about the local culture. Would that be acceptable to everyone? <laughs> I wouldn't even do it to I'm truly proud. I'm sure I don't need to worry about any of you, but do be careful for exploring. Yes, Professor. Thank you for joining us. The time together was most enjoyable. Maybe I'll see you. I'll see you both later. I need fucking water because I am just fucking trying to slam it and it is killing me. Let me actually pause it. I'm gonna get some we'll go get some god. Okay, so I'm hoping this doesn't mess up because I fucking went and did a thing and I opened up the thing blah 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 so I'm not too sure how the recording is going to look but we'll find out hopefully it's not weirdly sounded where to next according to the map the shop direct directory is right up ahead hmm? it's a white goat and a small one at that a goat in the middle of town it doesn't have a collar either does that mean it's wild Look again. It has golden earrings. It doesn't appear to be wild. Oh, you're right. It's friendly, too. It's clearly used to being around people. Do not cozy up with Malleus, goat! Now you're jealous of a goat? That is pathetic to watch. I wonder if it ran away from its owner. Though, a goat is an unusual choice for a pet. That goat is no pet. It's not wild, either, mind you. Oh, hello, the ruler. Are you making your rounds? Battery level good. Just so. I was concerned about how you all were faring. The goat is in a pet and it's a while. What is it? It's cared for the whole city. You might call oh, it a community goat. I've heard of community cats, but never goats. We consider goats to be bringer of good luck here. In Faroe City, we treat them with care. Fuck it, I'm turning on the AC. I'm dying of heat stroke. I don't know if it'll leave a sound effect in the background. Probably. They say if you're kind of one, it will come running to you in your aid when you're in trouble. Interesting. The fact wasn't in any of the books I've read coming here. They're considered ordinary tamo here, the same as cats and dogs. Hardly worth wondering about. They're highly regarded here, though. We must be careful in how we treat them. <laughs> it seems to have taken a shine to you, my life. Look at the way it follows you around. Uh, most animals tend to be Right me, you must be quite fearless, little one. Wait a minute. What is it, Jamal? Nothing. You clearly stopped yourself from saying something. It makes me wonder what you're hiding. I'm just thinking, maybe the goat saw Malleus' horns and thinks he's one of them? One of them? Wretched goat, how dare you! You presume to treat my liege as one of your brethren? You 
piddly horns are nothing compared to his. Now you're leaping and bounding about. Get back here. You shall pay for your insolence. Don't chase it. What part of we treat them with a care do you not understand? I apologize for his pulling lack of manners. Look, the goat's hopping just out of Silbeck's reach. Is it teasing him? Oh, yes. Our city's goats are rather clever. They also sometimes help local businesses by hauling goats. They're smarter. The smarter they are, the more mischievous they can be. But we love them all the same. It doesn't fear me at all. What an amusing creature. I like it. What? Wretched goat, you must learn your place. Again, you're not in competition with the goat. Unfortunately, he is in competition with the goat. God damn it. Can you go away? Do you like... Time certainly flies when you're strolling through the city. I'm curious to see what kind of souvenirs they have here. But we don't have much time before the meetup. Yes, we can't be late to the rendezvous. Tardiness would be certainly unacceptable. You sound very empathetic about this. Then perhaps we should hurry to the rendezvous point soon. You'll find plenty of souvenirs in the festival square. Is there anything else you'd like to see before you go? Hmm. So, but what would you like to do? Hmm? Me, sire? Yes, I'd like to hear your thoughts. As the youngest of our group, why, I wouldn't dream of asking you to indulge my request of mine. I don't mind. With this, I was discussing this very thing with Rose Hart and Viper while you were ch chasing the goat. You're a freshman. I'm willing to humor a little self indulgence on your part. Agreed. So go on. Don't be shy. I can tell by the look on your face there's something in, in your mind. Not at all. My interests are the same as all of your studying history and... That was... Ah, uh, now I see you're hungry. No, I'm really not. It's alright, you know. I'm interested in trying some locals myself. Oh, yes, it might be nice to experience some for a city. Uh, climber, prepare to eatery, city of my command, my recommendation, alright, then come with me. Sorry about this, human. That's really fun too. Trying to speed walk it. Okay, I'm usually salty. That's this is the last one. Damn, I really did speed walk it. This place is a good example for local fair. Is it a cafe? I noticed there's a lot of outdoor seating. It's actually a fromage, a store that specializes in the cheese. Oh yes, I can see an array of different cheeses inside. Oh, I heard read about this fame. Yeah, so I forgot the cheeses. It's well known store Rolo, one of the better ones. One in our city has a great many fromages. Bread and cheeses are staples. For a long while nowadays, we purchase many different types of cheese. This particular establishment also runs a cafe, and the menus have been around the cheeses. That makes sense. Now that you mention it, I see that the people outside sitting all have pieces of bread and loaded with cheese. Well, now that I've gotten you here, I'll be taking my leave. Sorry for the extra trouble, Flemmy. You have my gratitude, human. Once again, my name is Rolo, Rolo Flemmy. Do enjoy your time in the city. I'll put our uh, food, drinks, when I see you and everyone else. What? Welcome to have seaway. All right, I have our snacks. Wow, it smells amazing. Fresh bag baguette sandwich with ham and cheese. So much cheese, in fact, spilling outside. I'll have one. Yeah, that's me. That's my lady sitting. Rather nice. I enjoy the richness of the cheese. They said it was goat cheese. There were too many kinds to choose from, so I picked the most popular items on the menu. Again, the goats, they really do love them down here. The cheese is softening the heat of the baguette. I find because it's distant from the texture taste. Yes, it's a nice depth of flavor and a pair as well with the sauciness of the ham. You know, one would never be able to truly appreciate the without sampling its flourish hand, even if they were all knowledge in the world. Hands on experience are most intriguing. I wonder if Lily has the same sandwich when he was first at Forest City. I should thank him for encouraging me to come on this trip. This sandwich has cheese made from cows as well as grape compo. By all means, try it. Certainly, just as soon as I have my drink. What's this? This coffee you gave me is rather sweet. It has milk in it as well. Did you perhaps... Yeah, a bit. Yes, I have your coffee. I assume you accidentally switched them. My apologies, sir. Oh, you take your coffee with milk and sugar, Selbeck? I merely happen to be in the mood for it, as all. 
It's not like I ha can't stand black coffee or anything. Why are you so defensive? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. People have different tastes, you know. But don't get hung up on strange things. Not everyone has thing has to be poor pride. Jamal's right. In fact, you were there was an incident just recently where you dug your heels in over a matter of personal pride during a club meeting and I would prefer if you refrain from discussing my blunders in Mali's presence. Actually, I'd like to hear this, Rose Heart. I'm most curious to know what subject isn't like normally. You, you have it all wrong, my liege. I always comp comport myself in a way that benefits my status as a gear card. I'm content myself with knowing that you're bounding with people outside of Blair Valley. It's reassured. Oh, Malleus, such kind words. Are you crying? This cheese is unusually salty. Those are your GRs. Let's finish up and move on, shall we? We still have much more of the city to enjoy. God, I'm gonna get this hot. I can't. I can't. Like, he's so fucking hot. Anyway. We'll end this episode. I need to get the other episodes done. We'll see what I... Let's see how everything works out for me. So, but yeah. For now, Tiny Sachibis is sending out.